What is up everybody? Steve Games here today uh, with another video tutorial on Spin Tires Plus. Um, so the first thing you're going to do, if you haven't already, create a shortcut to Spin Tires on your desktop. It just makes things so much easier. Now if you don't know how to do that, you're going to go into your Steam um, under Library, right click on Spin Tires, go down to Properties, uh, Local Files, Browse Local Files, and this is it so you just want to click back right click on here uh, create shortcut right there and then put that on your desktop and then you have it there and you don't have to search it and do all that hassleness so anyways um, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to spin tires .nl, search up in the top search bar spin tires plus right here you're gonna download that it comes in a zip file so make sure you have something to unzip it and then you are going to put it wherever you want but once you have the zip file just uh, open it up open up the spin tires plus folder and the only thing that you need out of here are these three files right here so highlight them and then you're just going to drag them in and drop them into your uh, shortcut right into the main the main directory folder um, once you have that you'll have those three files in here uh, there's that one there's that one and then there's this is the one right here you want to edit so right click on it um, if it's not already shown like a notepad you want to open it with open it up with notepad and then in here you're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff that probably doesn't make any sense at all unless you know what you're doing um, so yeah you have your camera settings your external minimap gameplay graphics your HUD miscellaneous modding you have all that stuff in here now before you start changing things and you forget what it was before and stuff like that make sure you have the copy of this original copy of it um, make another copy stick it somewhere so if you do mess something up and your game always crashes or you know it doesn't work then just delete that one and put the the preset one back into your spin tires folder this way you don't have problems so um, I didn't change a whole lot of the stuff a lot of the stuff the presets are already amazing so you know I didn't change well, I did change a little bit here. I changed the uh, no damage to true, um, unlimited fuel to true. Uh, what else? I don't. I, I think everything else I just kept the same. Um, I can't remember if this one here. This is my biggest one here that I made sure that was true. Um, it's annoying. It is very annoying. So, you know, if you don't want your camera following you as you steer your wheels. Uh, make sure that one's on true. Um, I think it's already preset to true, but I'm not 100% um, sure. I can't remember. But other than that, I changed a couple things down here. Uh, your time cycle, I uh, froze that at 12. You can freeze it to whatever. It's in 2400 hours, so if you put like, um, well, whatever. If you want 9 o'clock in the morning, you just put 9. If you want, you know, one o'clock in the afternoon you'd put 13 um, and then this one here was a, a must um, I love that a battery powered winch so if you flip over or you stall your engine or anything like that you can still use your winch uh, the, the range on the winch I changed it to I think it's preset to 10 um, I changed it to 30 the max is 40 and if you don't know what a lot of these things are um, there's a whole you just got to read there's a whole section down here where it says you know your camera section tells you what you can and cannot do um, yeah it's all down here you know your graphic your game section your HUD section tells you everything there um, I did play around with the friction but I couldn't uh, get any difference maybe I didn't try hard enough or something but there is a little section right here where it says friction along or friction force along path. Um, I 
fiddled around with the numbers a little bit, but I didn't uh, find any increase or decrease of anything. So I don't know. Maybe I was doing something wrong. Maybe I'm not even supposed to change that. I don't know. But like I said, if you're going to start changing a bunch of stuff that you can't remember what you did, uh, make sure you have a copy of it. Um, or just download it again, I guess. Um, and then when you're done fiddling around with it, just uh, make sure you save it. And then uh, start your game up. And I'll show you what it looks like in game. Okay, so when you open up the game, it looks pretty much the same here. And then as soon as you click play, this is all pretty much the same. Now when you click on levels, you'll have this little mini map thing over here, or this map selection. Um, it has all your maps that you've pretty much downloaded, like mod maps. And then if you go here, default maps, these are all your default maps. Shows a you know fairly big picture of them, of them, of them all. And then uh, so uh, um, yeah, well whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, then you can also search for certain things. Uh, the vehicles is pretty much the same. Um, all your vehicles here, and then it gives you little pictures over on the right hand side there of what what is what. Um, uh, you can also search put up here you can search and then it'll search your vehicle if you have a lot um, and that's pretty much it and then everything else um, you know stays the same um, and then yeah that's it so very simple very easy um, if this video is helpful to you if I missed anything please leave a comment down below um, I'll try to respond to that and uh, yeah if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and we'll see you on the next video thanks for watching